Drinkers Under Review, thanks for stopping by, checking me out for another beer review. I appreciate it. Tonight, one sent from Rich, Rich's World Beer Tour. We swapped some beer. I'm making my way through the four you gave me. This is the third. The first two that I had were freaking good, man. But anyway, on to this one. Big Wood Brewery. This is Bad Axe Imperial IPA. From Minnesota, of course. Uh, it's, wow, 9.8% ABV. Uh, not a seasonal, not a all the time beer. How do I even put that? It's uh, kind of one of those one offs, is what Rich was saying. So, excited to get it in the glass. All right, the bad axe in the glass. Have a look, guys. It's got that nice, uh, you know, typical deep orange look to it. This one's uh, cloudy. It's uh, definitely looking like an unfiltered one to me. Uh, kind of a rocky head on it, and I poured it pretty aggressive, so it's a little bit choppy. But, you know, just that off-white, maybe light tan color head, too. Let's get into the aroma, guys. Mm. Can I agree with you on this, Rich? Because you were saying big orange characteristic. I am getting that big orange sweetness on the aroma. There's like a slight bit of danky, light pininess behind that. It's just kind of that nice sweetness, you know, that orange. Definitely a little bit of grapefruit in there too. It does smell pretty damn good. Let's get into it, cheers. Very nice. Creamy, kind of medium body. Juicy fruitiness. <laughs> kind of rolls into that dry, bitter finish. That's more when a bit of that dank, more pininess than anything kind of comes through on the finish. A little bit dry. Slight bitterness. I mean, it's not overly bitter or anything. Yeah. Yeah, man, I enjoy that. That's good. I love how it starts out, get that sweet orange, maybe a bit of grapefruit behind there. Even like a touch of that sweet kind of caramel malt is in there. It just rolls over. Dries your mouth out quite a bit. I mean, it finishes pretty dry, but then bam, that piney kind of earthiness slight dankness it doesn't get like really dank like I really like but it, it does kind of kick up with the pine and yeah, that dry bitter finish pretty uh pretty excellent double IPA in my opinion I'm looking for some uh on the cans I always forget the bottom there I just the other day did a review on uh, six point craft ales uh the three beans and after I put away the camera and shut everything down, I look on the bottom of the can and say, man, this is, uh, it's past the best before by, you know, almost two weeks. On a big 10% kind of coffee porter, I don't know. I feel it did definitely took away from that. I gotta remember to always check those two. The bad axe. I mean, I don't see a, a canned on or like a freshness stamp on it. 
but it seems uh, pretty damn good to me. I mean, they might be a little bit lost in hot profile, I'm not too sure, but it seems like it's pretty spot on. Um, yeah, really a tasty double IPA. And I did say 9.8. <laughs> it's hidden well, it's blended very nice. I mean, I don't smell, I don't taste, I wouldn't. I would never even guess it's in that 10%, really. Maybe like 7, 8, but a yeah, pretty, pretty good beer. Hit the rating here, guys. Mm. Big Wood Brewery, Crap Brew, the Bad Axe. Mm. Man, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give it a solid 83. Excellent double. I'd pick this one up for sure if I could. And yeah. Thanks, Rich, for hooking it up, man. I appreciate trying this one. Really uh, good stuff. Thank you guys for stopping by. Until next review, cheers.